Hi, I'm Amber, and this is my book and film review comparison. The book and film that I'm reviewing comparatively is Cold Mountain. Cold Mountain is told in the perspective of Ada and Inman. Inman is a Confederate soldier who has just been wounded, and he decides that he's going to walk all the way back to Cold Mountain and to Ada. Ada, all that while, is trying to survive on the farm that's almost ruined after her father's death. In the book, the romance was not something I could actually get behind because they basically fell in love on first sight, and that is frustrating. Cobalton is overall a romance, and although there is more to it, it is the foundation for the story. And the romance itself doesn't have much of a foundation in this book. I felt there was really no way I could get behind it because they didn't even know each other, barely knew anything about each other, and yet somehow they were in love. It was kind of one of those things where it was kind of like, I want to keep reading, but I really don't care for this kind of romance. It's not my cup of tea. Inman is a very distant person. I know he's quiet, like I get the quiet part. I'm one of that those kind of people. I'm quiet, I'm introverted. I get that he's kind of that way. But being distant is different. And there's this whole distance be between him and me as the reader. And there was no way I could connect with him because I couldn't really understand him. 50% into the book, and I still couldn't really understand his stand on the war, basically going AWOL. I knew some of his reasons, but I felt like there has to be more, right? Like, you're not just basically running away from your duty just because of a girl you barely know, right? But I felt like we weren't getting enough of that reason. Like, I knew that he was tired of killing people and basically losing his soul, and I 100% get leaving for that. But, at the same time, I did feel like he was just basically running away from his duty, and the only thing that would have made me completely get his leaving 100% is if he had lost faith in the war itself, which I never really got the feeling that he had. So I was kind of going back and forth with being okay with him leaving and not being okay. Because a person running away, no matter if he may be fighting on the wrong side or not, it says a lot about that person, you know. So I was just kind of going back and forth about where I stood with him. And because he was so distant and I couldn't really connect with him, it was really hard to get into his perspective. Although, reading through his perspective was better than reading through Ada's because there was more things going on. I felt there was a little bit more action, a little bit more of the drama in it. But at the same time, as with Ada's perspective, I felt like there was this being held at arm's length from things. Like, it just couldn't feel that emotional tie going on. And now on to Ada's perspective. Ada the character was kind of frustrating. I believe that she probably would have grown on me if I kept on going with the book, but I just, there was just too many issues for me overall. But Ada, especially when Ruby comes on the scene, I really got frustrated with her. I was just like, you don't know anything about Rooster. You don't know anything about anything, basically, and you're not asking for help. So that was kind of frustrating on that surface, but then there's this whole issue about her viewpoints on servants and slaves, where she's basically, you know, she wants to box her around, she wants to, you know, treat her like a servant, and basically they already agreed that she wouldn't do that, and I get that that was a huge part, and most likely that would change, and it definitely is a 
huge factor in the relationship. So I get that. But at the same time, it was just kind of frustrating. And I just wanted to kind of like jump to the part where she was like friends with her already. How did I just kind of get behind? Because she was kind of spoiled. And she just never really was willing to do things for herself at the very beginning, especially at the beginning. And she had to be pushed into it. I know that there's part of her, this part of her that I would definitely have liked if it had been shown more, but it was just kind of a frustrating thing where, you know, her few points were just kind of frustrating to have to read about, but at the same time I get it because that was how she was raised. So this was like common sense of her as a person. The one thing that definitely frustrated me when it came to Addis' perspective was that Charles Frazier decided to tell us things after the fact instead of showing it to us, instead of letting us be there while things were happening. And there's two reasons that it really frustrates me. One, we don't really get to experience it. Two, Rui didn't really get that much of a spotlight. There were definite scenes where I felt like I was missing out on maybe snarkiness and sassiness because we were told after the effect of certain things that had happened when it came to Ruby and Ada's relationship. The third thing, things would happen around them and it would take forever for them to feel the effects of that thing. Because things were being told instead of shown, I just really couldn't connect to her perspective. So basically, I just couldn't really connect to this book because Emily was distant, couldn't really understand him, couldn't really connect with him. I can't really connect with Addy either. One person that I could connect to was a side character, and we don't get her perspective, so it was really disappointing on a whole. There are two things that I liked about this book. One is the writing. I really thought it was really beautiful, it flowed wonderfully and smooth, and it's definitely something that will make me want to read other of his of his work. It talks about the soldiers' emotions and how uh, everything is black and white. Because as a Confederate soldier, he is basically fighting for slavery. That was one of the major issues. I know there's a whole a lot of other things and reasons for the Civil War, but that was one of the, one of the reasons. It. Humanity is complicated. So, to put that complicated humanity into a board, it's really hard. He has to struggle with his beliefs. And I think every soldier from the, from the first war to our present war to the future of war is always going to have that conundrum. So, it's interesting to see that being brought up in this book and in the film. I have to say that I did enjoy the film better and I feel kind of sad saying that because I would like to have been able to say that I liked the book better. But the film was so beautiful and so wonderful and it was so much better than my experience with the book. One of the things that made me really enjoy this film was Ada. And I'm on a fence on one aspect about it, I will get into that, but first let me talk about what I liked when it came to Ada, was that we were able to see the positives of her, her as her of a person, whereas in the book I just couldn't find it, and in the film, because it's a two hour film, so it has to be compacted, we weren't being focused so much on her beginning points. We saw it, we saw her growing, but we saw her change much more quickly and it brushed over her annoying parts of her personality, which I felt had way more focus in the book and I just couldn't get into that part of the story, so it was really nice and I was relieved that I didn't have to deal with that part of her personality. The one issue that I kind of had was that they changed her viewpoints and 
in the book, those few points, I really do believe, play a big part in the development of Ruby and Ada's relationship. So to have changed that in the film kind of affects the relationship. But at the same time, I am on the fence about that because the thing is the relationship developed beautifully and you could definitely see their relationship and how it felt because you know they were dependent on each other and you saw that through the film so it could go either way for me when it comes to that I really didn't care because I really liked the relationship and in the film Ruby I felt shined so much more definitely caught her sassiness her snarkiness her just her uniqueness and I loved it absolutely positively loved it also, in this film, I could connect to Inman better. I could understand him as a person more and empathize with him. I was able to understand his point on the war, his perspective, his stand much more easier. Also, the romance, I felt, had a much more firm foundation in this film. I could get behind it much more. It didn't feel as much like insta love as the book did so i was able to fall in love with the relationship and i'm able to root for them to make it and it was just a really beautiful romance now the film itself it was just really really beautifully filmed i love the landscape which i felt just captured everything about what ada and Inman loved about Cold Mountain. It just really was able to capture everything that they loved. And I thought that was just so, so wonderful. Also, the music. Oh my gosh, that music was so beautiful. And it definitely was able to bring out the emotional side of this film so much more. And, e and the drama, it was just really wonderful. It was subtly, subtle, yet emotional music, which makes me want to find the physical CD copy of this soundtrack. I just loved the music so much. The book lacked emotion, action, and drama for me, but the film had it in spades. I loved that I was on the edge of my seat, that I could feel the emotion of their experiences and their desire to be able to reconnect again. The relationship between Ada and Ruby. Everything that I wanted from the book was there in the film. I fell in love with this film so much. Jude Law, Renee Zelliger, and Nicole Kidman were brilliant in this film. They became the characters. I felt that they are very believable. And the one person that I thought did the most best was Renee Zelliger. And it is no surprise that she won an Academy Award nomination for supporting actress. I thought she was the best part of the film and the best part of the book. So that Renee Zellweger did such an amazing job as Ruby just made me very, very happy. Overall, the book gets three stars and the film gets four and a half stars. Have you read or, and or watched this film? Tell me down below and let's talk about what we agree and disagree with. Thank you so much for watching and keep warm.